We are First just time, about ready, ready to go fight? for this Here light heavyweight contest. The Polish fighter looking to take the center of the cage early here. We know Bukowskis is going to be happy to dance around him with that very light footed style that he has. Oh, good entry, just uh, stepping into the level change. Again, looking for a pickup against the cage here. Bukowski is trying to lift him up by almost that head and arm grip. Oh, actually, sorry, he's got a left underhook now. Just need to pull him leg now. Yep, there you go. I expect some pretty significant ground and pound from Vorchek if he can uh, get a dominant position on top here. This is good work from Bukowski to find the cage, though. He's going to try and use it to stand back up. And with Bukowskis being such a, a dynamic and unusual striker than, than we're used to seeing, especially in terms of the heavyweight division, you've got to believe, Darren, that the game plan for him, Bocic, early was to take him down to close that distance and, and really take those tools away from him. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's good. You're going for it, take him down, but you've got to keep him there, you know? You, you don't all the effort to get him down. Can you keep him there? And uh, obviously, you know, the other guy done very well to get back up. Now he just needs to spin him. Yeah, the corner team there, imploring with Bukowskis to just push his man away, disengage there. And he does. Great work there from Modeskis Bukowskis. Yeah, just need to spin, get the frame in, but he's got to fire some shots off here. You know, he know Sorry, no, no, I was to say, now that he knows that Warcheck wants to close the distance on him. Now he just needs to keep his distance now, you know? He's got the reach to keep his distance. Big overhand right there, just a couple of inches short from Marcin Wojcik. Some whip on that hook. I mean, you know you want to. He wants to go for the takedown. His, his hands are low. Yeah, I mean, you know, he didn't really throw. You know, didn't commit to that left hook too much, but it did the trick, didn't it? Big pickup. Powerful takedown there from the Polish fighter. Bukowski has done a great job of deflecting the head, finding the cage, and getting a good technical stand up. A little bit harder from close guard, though. There you go, kicks away. Control the legs, control the feet. You know, don't rush nothing, control the feet. There you go, watch the up kick. Good work from watching that to pass the guard. This is good pressure. This is good forward pressure. Kept his posture really nicely. Heavy knees upside control here. Gonna look to slide over to Mount. Oh, he just lost that tricep grip. That right tricep grip was the thing that was keeping. Buskowskis firmly on the floor. Looks for him to stay very close to Buskowskis here. Does not want to give him the room to stand back up. Wants to keep this position and look to pass the guard. Yeah, he's got to keep his hips forward. Working the body is a great idea. Because he's always controlling at least one foot. Looks the leg drag here. Staying very, very close to Bukowski. Bukowski able to get his back onto the cage, but he's still got some work to do before he's safe. Yeah, because he, he's defending well and he's getting back to his feet well, but he's also just defensive the whole time. This is the problem, you know. Vojtic uh, is doing enough to be offensive and, and you know keep being the one dictating what's going on. Nice one two there. Beautiful one two there, but the thing is, you know, where are you going to be after that one two? You've gone back to the center line, and that's where you're looking for that takedown. Put your fingers away, chuck your fingers in. Kick to the body there from Bukowskis. Watch yeah. it swarming his man there and immediately linking those hands. Oh, it's going to be another that. big takedown. Oh, see, what was different about that one was he tried to elevate and turn Bukowskis so he could clear the guard in midair. Didn't quite get all the way past. He's gone the half guard here, but let's see if he can uh, keep the Lithuanian pinned. Final 10 seconds of the first round. 
one-way traffic thus far, it has to be said, for the majority of this first frame. A great pressure game from the Polish fighter. Marcin Wojcik really putting his stamp on that first round. Yeah, watch it never never really landed enough damage, but but it was good controlling grappling the whole time in. It, it was the takedowns. It hit several of these very similar. Classic, you know, double leg takedown around the, the hips off the cage. Take a look at some of the ground the pound work here from the Polish fighter. Big right hand over the top there. Yeah, I really like the way he was stopping the legs. Controlling the ankles, Ego just shifts it to the side, and the punch does enough to secure the guard pass. And again, mixing that takedown entry up with some strikes on the feet as well. Big elevated slam here. And Darren, if you're Martin, watch it there. You've, you've got to be feeling very confident coming into this one. Okay, I'm telling you both, just watch your fingers on the lead hand. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, of course, very, very confident you because, you know, you it this, the other guy looks like he's a striker, but he's not doing too much, he's just staying in the centre line, so he, if I was that, if I was him, he's doing the right thing. Look for that takedown again. And I think what surprised me a little bit is how, you know, it, it's not that he has, he's committed to the takedowns, but he hasn't had to commit wholeheartedly to the strikes to set the takedown up. You know, they, they've been able to be a little bit uh, shorter, a little bit... A little bit looser. Nice kick to the body there from Baskowskis. We've seen the guys coming out of Ginter's combat o over the years. They've used the more unorthodox, more traditional martial arts style striking, where as the Polish fighter here, Martin, watch it, looking to just keep it traditional with boxing here. And walking his man down as he looks to find an entry for that takedown. Yeah, some big baseball-style punches from Wojciech. The corner of Bogowskis were calling for a big uppercut as the pole closed the distance, but he's found his way in on the hips again, looking for a high crotch here. I mean, the uppercut is there because he's not setting up with the hands, he's just rushing with the takedown. But again, you know, if you can get away with it, why not? So here we go, connecting the hands through. We've seen the power he's got when he can he can really get his hips underneath. He can get Bukowski's clean off the feet. There you go, big pick up again. And he's in a great leg drag position here. This is horrible for Bukowski's because his hips had turned away. See how that right leg is just uh, completely compromised. Easy pass for Warcheck. You're looking very strong on top, trying to get that knee over the belly. Well, it's the second time he's tried to go to mount, he's just been a little bit loose in doing it. You know, he's been relying on a, a tricep grip, which is it, a good position, but you've really got to be driving into it, and it's been a little bit loose. And again, you know, you have to stay up. You know, he's just going straight there. You know, like he had his hand on his head. It's just put the shoulder pressure in, then put the knee across, you know? Don't just go for it. I mean, I'm wondering how many of these big pickups does Wojciech have in the gas tank? Because they look impressive, they score well, but boy, do they suck your energy over time. And the last thing you want is your arms getting heavy when you've got a guy potentially throwing spinning back kicks and spinning hook kicks at you. We've seen those kind of attacks from Bukowskis before. Again, Wojciech's looking to connect those hands around the hips. It's a good wide base in defense from Bukowskis this time, so he's got to switch off to the single. He's going to look to pull the left leg all the way across the front of the body from here. Oh, oh good work there from Bukowskis to avoid that takedown fully thus far. Yeah, it was the, the left arm of Wojciech got stuck in front of his body. That's what nearly gave Bukowskis the back. But he's got to be careful. You see that right arm over the head's not doing anything here. He's got to get a whizzer, something. He's got to stop the route to his back. Darren, if you're Buskowskis here, what's the plan? What, what does the game plan have to be? What do you need to do to turn this one around? Um, you know, you've you got to avoid them takedowns. You know, you've you, you got to avoid them takedowns. The takedown defense is important, you know? Avoid them takedowns. I mean, you can see he's good at the striking. He's just got to keep that distance, keep that distance. And we, I said it before, I'll say it again. When you're on the center line, you're, you're drawing that person in for the takedown easy. You've got to be active. You've got to make them angles. Make them angles, it'll be hard.
So it's perhaps a question of movement here then from the Lithuanian fighter. Exactly, movement. Movement is important. Here we oh, go. Big knees and big strikes yeah. here this from Bukowskis. Again, this is the cardio, right? Those big takedowns take a lot of energy. But again, you can't stay on the center now. Be careful, so he's going to go for that takedown. That's but getting back kick, huh? Bukowskis pouring it on, and he's done it! Unbelievable! <laughs> How's that for a turnaround? Oh, my goodness! Modestus Bukowskis! with a huge comeback victory. Wow. Uh, wow. He had to earn that one. <laughs> I mean, I need to see the shot that hurt. I can tell it was a shot that hurt War Checker. Just, you know, his gas tank just crumbled. This is why I love this sport. You know, MMA, anything can happen. You know, round one, round two, round three, it don't matter. The fight's not over until it's over. And you know, he, he done what he had to do. I think all the, I think all, I think all the grappling just took a lot out of him. Let's take a look at the finish now. It was a big knee up the center, and then a series of punches around the guard there. Wojcik able to block and glance a few of them off, but the pressure from Bukowskis, and you see Wojcik taking deep, deep, deep breaths there. That spinning back kick just clipped the edge, just clipped the liver. Wonderful kick. And Darren, this is a really impressive finish here. Great finishing instincts. Oh, wonderful finish. That's what caught him. That's what done it. It does feel like the gas tank just suddenly wasn't there for him. This is what I said before, you know, it's all good getting them down, but you've got to keep them down, you know? Keep them down, pick your shot. Let's throw this one to our MC in the cage, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Leon Roberts, has called a stop to this contest after four minutes and nine seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of TKO in the red corner, Modestos Bukaska. Huge come from behind win for Modestos Bukaskas.